So Captain Marvel actually wasn't that bad. I mean, it wasn't great by any means, but it wasn't terrible by any means. It was just, you know, sort of in the middle. But at least Spider-Verse comes out March 19th. Yo, did you do that? Your friendly neighborhood Jack's Blade is back at it again. And I got this amazing question that I'm just going to reach y'all right now. Hey, Jack's Blade, big fan of Tough Like the Tunes and Would That Work Out? And I had a question for you. We all love buff characters, but do you think Luffy and Yusuke should be more muscular? Comparatively, they are rather small and not that jacked. From the training they've done, would that make them more muscly, or are they the correct size, you think? Big fan XOXO. And I honestly thought this was a great topic because Yu Yu Hakusho is actually my second favorite anime series of all time. Well, until, you know, the girls show up because once that series gets animated this July, it's just going to be a wrap. Can't wait for it, by the way. Don Bruno and Kid Potato, come on. And uh, number two, Yusuke and Luffy are two of the most popular anime protagonist heroes, but they aren't, like, necessarily the most jacked or shredded. Like, for example, when I think of, like, heroes that just motivate me to train while Luffy is ripped, there are, like, three certain aesthetic goals that I see that I'm just like alright that's motivating me to get in the gym and keep focusing on my diet but like for example I'll just give you those three aesthetic goals right now Bruce lean characters who aren't all that super yoked but they have ripped arms and abs and defined muscles all over then there are brolic characters who are just these big massive bulks of pure muscle and then the perfect in between where they are big but not too big but definitely not small characters you know pretty much like all the Z fighters in the 90s this Goku figure is pure aesthetic goals. And so the question becomes, why aren't they more muscular? Because of the artist, you idiot! <laughs> How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? Again, like I always say, this is just a fun, hypothetical video. Nothing to take overly, overly serious. And if you have a problem with what I'm saying, why don't you come say that shit to my face so I can cook you dinner so we can talk about it. And while the mangakas did design them that way, I can still look at them like and analyze what kind of training they did because, you know, personal trainer for the last nine years and just, you know, see if that would actually stimulate growth or if it would stimulate sort of strength or like what it would do for them realistically if someone was to do those sort of routines. Now let's start this off with my boy Yusuke Yurameshi, the main protag of Yu Yu Hakusho and someone quite a few of y'all will call a quite impressive farm animal. <laughs> Now growing up, Yusuke was a street punk but an adept fighter. And as we covered before, fighting slash sparring is a phenomenal workout for helping you to increase your cardiovascular endurance and helping you to learn proper timing and distance for attacking, as well as if you're helping you work your abdominal muscles, your shoulder muscles, your chest, your back, your calves, and your quadriceps, depending on what type of fight you are getting into. So in Mortal Kombat with another person, you're getting quite a good workout, and you can tell which people have trained to do it and which people haven't, because getting winded during a fight is way too easy if you do not know what you were doing. Literally pro tip, if someone ever tries to attack you for some reason and you've taken a self-defense class and like you have to like protect yourself and the authorities haven't shown up yet and you just can't escape the situation, having great defense, head movement, and just like agility and to be able to dodge is just such a game changer in helping you protect yourself. Because if it's just some rando trying to hurt you and they've never been in like an actual fight before, they're just trying to throw a knockout punch at you, having like great head movement, dodging, you know, blocking and doing all this stuff is like a key thing to notice like oh are they actually a fighter or are they just you know some random person trying to hurt me because random people who don't know how to fight they underestimate how much it takes and they get gassed really fast they'll like start breathing really heavy so as long as you keep your hands up you guard you have your head movement you dodge you use that agility you use all of that to your advantage you can actually keep yourself insanely safe and insanely in shape because like this person is just going to wear themselves out relatively fast so always keep that in mind and always you know stay safe if you can avoid it try to you know avoid it as much as possible because you know let the law fuck them up so for years doing what yusuke would have done would have added to his fitness level but not necessarily make him bulky or ripped even with his newbie gains and then he went on to train under genkai and this is probably my only gripe with yu yu Hakusho. unlike other series they don't really show you all that much of the training yusuke does like in other series they show full episodes dedicated to it and i love training filler comment hashtag training filler is killer down below if you agree <laughs> but we see him work on his spirit energy, do isometric movements, you know, static isometrics of holding himself on one finger and doing rock climbing with weights. Now I covered isometric training extremely in depth in my Could You Have Michael Myers strength video. It's one of my proudest videos, so definitely check that out after this if you're interested. And I did mention a benefit of doing isometrics is that you're able to recruit more muscle fibers, which in turn can give you more raw strength rather than increasing just your muscle mass. And for rock climbing, while it is 
this phenomenal strength building workout that hits your, you know, forearms, your back, your biceps, your abs, and your legs is not necessarily a mass builder. Now, don't get me wrong. You will get strong doing rock climbing. You most definitely will get strong. If you're a complete beginner, newbie gains may give you some extra noticeable results, but typically because you have to switch and readjust between using so many muscles to get into a proper position to keep progressing up the wall, it's different than doing a certain exercise consistently and taxing a certain group of muscles you want to focus on in particular, like what happens when you do standard strength training. It's not going to affect everyone else the same way. So doing stuff like this over and over again with his spirit energy boost makes sense why he didn't really bulk up or get those stereotypical aesthetics. I mean, we didn't see him pulling a Goku with his calisthenics or a Zoro with his big ass weights. And all of those do help sculpt the body to look like a stereotypical action hero. The only thing I will say is I feel like he should have at least abs showing by now since he looks pretty average with his shirt off most of the time. Also, another thing, most of these shonen heroes eat a lot. And as we've covered before in other videos, like eating a lot, it actually very beneficial if you're a beginner who has newbie gains, or if you're just trying to bulk up in general, you need to have a good appetite because like, especially if you have newbie gains, that's a prime time to bulk out and pig out. Like we've covered many times before, because like if you've got newbie gains, you're building muscle burning fat at the same time, and you can just eat a bunch of food and all these cheerleaders will start swooning after you like, oh my God, you're so bad. How do you work out? Isn't that right, Jonathan? Even if if your metabolism burns off food really fast, it's important to eat big to get big. And Yusuke doesn't really eat that much. He just eats like an average person. Unlike our boy Luffy who... Now I'll give Luffy this. My boy is ripped. Look at those abs. You could wash Hancock's clothes on those. <laughs> And with Luffy, while he did primarily train under Garp and with Rayleigh, his routines were primarily about fighting as well. As a kid, he fought martial artist monkeys and various animals when he played with Ace and Sabo, not to mention sparring Ace and Sabo. Then he had to climb out of a bottomless ravine, get down from balloons he was tied to in the air, and do some Gohan training in the woods, and he did all that for years. And that crap worked, because when you watch all of pre-Time Skip One Piece, my man didn't really train. Like, all the fights he had, he just adapted to fight them. He didn't really, like, you know, do stereotypical training. Some people not fully familiar with One Piece don't know this, but even if Luffy didn't have a Devil Fruit, he would still be insanely strong regardless. The Devil Fruit is just a buff to his already natural strength that he worked for while growing up. Like how, um, Garp or Rayleigh or other non-Devil Fruit users are freaking monsters and have, like, these insane abilities. And damn, I really do wish One Piece's training mechanics worked as well as they do in their world world like in our world because that would just be oh my god insane insane newbie gains but once luffy set sail he didn't stereotypically train like for instance um zoro we see train all the time to get physically stronger all through the series but luffy <laughs> maxed his stats out to a point where he was just such a beast that he really didn't train and if he did we didn't see it unless you were counting all the fights as training and you right all those fights would count as training because fighting someone stronger than you and beating them is great training. Like absolutely phenomenal training. Gum gum stretchy on. King of the pirates. Then when Rayleigh started teaching him about hockey mastery for two years and sparred him while also making him fight giant various animals, that just added to his ability. And after that, he really didn't get pressed or stressed when fighting the first couple New World villains until he got to Flamingo Boy. When you get down to it, Luffy is one OP motherfucker. I mean, if he seriously pulled like a Frieza strength training spree for four months, just pure strength training, he'd probably be on gear eight by now. But spoilers for the Wano arc, so you know, I'll put a little time frame. After Luffy gets demolished by Kaido, he is imprisoned with Sea Stone Gauntlets, and for those of you who don't know what Sea Stone is, it's basically the kryptonite for Devil Fruit users and takes away their abilities. Very similar to the metagene blockers in Young Justice, but while he is there right now, Luffy seems to be doing various strongman training stuff like we've covered in several Would That Work Out videos from the past, from carrying giant slabs of rock, pickaxe work, Racing Kid, and all of this has potential to just lead him to gain city. Real talk, when Luffy comes out of that prison, I won't be surprised if he comes out looking like this. But overall, since most of his training has been fight related his entire life, I can see why he isn't super jacked like a squad of early JoJo's. From what we've seen visually so far, I would actually say, 
yes, this is quite plausible that following those type of routines would equal the type of physiques that, you know, Yusuke and Luffy have, like, for their characters. Because, like, even though I do have a bias, I love the Game Train characters, baby! Uh, I think it is pretty cool that, you know, they're just, like, these guys who hide their power level in a way where just, like, they look like they're sort of average. I mean, Luffy's guys rip dabs. But, like I've mentioned before, just because you're super aesthetic and, like, you look like you can take on the world doesn't mean you're super athletic. There are tons of people who, like, look super, super aesthetic but that doesn't mean that you're necessarily more athletic like it doesn't mean that like there are tons of people who look like you know average Joes who do insane feats of like strength endurance and all that other stuff remember what I said in my which superhero body is best for you video to the random uninitiated person if you see someone who is big and buff you're more than likely to be intimidated because as Chris Rock said I'm a man and if I'm having an argument with a man that's bigger than me I know there's a zone I don't go into it's that lying in the room effect they are massive and imposing but if you look at someone fit but smaller and your first thought is, they ain't that strong, then you are kind of falling into that group of people along the lines of uh, Frieza soldier. You know, the Frieza foot soldiers who have to use their scouters to rely on everything and can't gauge how strong someone truly is by themselves. Like Manny Pacquiao in baggy clothes looks like a tiny man. But that dude could rock you because you don't necessarily have to be super yoked up and jacked to know how to punch hard. For instance, there's a big misconception that just by growing big muscles, you automatically evolve into Mike Tyson. Now, I'm not dissing anything like that. Now, just listen to what I'm saying very carefully. Big muscles by themselves do not automatically equate to fighting skill and ability. Big muscles by themselves do not automatically equate to fighting skill and ability. If you have big muscles and you are a fighter, they can be very, very beneficial. But if you have big muscles and you don't know how to fight, and you go against someone who does know how to fight, then that can be pretty one-sided, my dude. For example, I've seen a ton of like big guys who look like they could just take on the entire world like Conan the Barbarian. But then when it comes to like actually you no know, scrapping, they don't know how to like throw a proper punch. They either like throw it so wide that they're telegraphing what they're gonna do, or they just uh, leave their face open, their ribs open, they don't have like a proper defense guard. And if you've ever taken a MMA or boxing class, the first things they teach you is like when you're about to like get into like a fight or sparring match is like, you know, hands up, tuck the chin, keep your eyes open, always make sure you're watching your opponent and stuff like that. And then when you throw a punch, you make sure you like get the hip and you twist it. And you, you know, stuff like that. That's going to help you like land more powerful. It doesn't matter how, what size you are. If you know how to like throw a proper punch, you can like do some serious damage. And if you're sparring someone who doesn't know how to do any of that stuff, then you can like, you know, test it out. You can be like, okay, let's see what you do. If I do this, where are you gonna do? Are you gonna block here? Or are you gonna like, you know, wince out and like flinch or something like that? Or right, what if I do, boom, boom, you know, you see what they're doing. You're seeing how they react to certain things. And if they don't know how to guard against certain things, then that's giving you the advantage because that's the thing about fighting. It's like a piece of chess, like it's chess match basically. Because if you're ever taking like those sparring classes, what you want to do is you're just trying to like break down your opponent and like win in a certain way. And if they can't like guard against certain things, like those things are just like little test moves. It's like, okay, boom, I blocked it here. Did you block it? No, all right, let's see. I'm gonna keep that in mind, all right? Boom, boom, and then you just fake them out and then you see what they can do. And since you have that fighter endurance, you're able to like go around and just like monitor what they're doing. And you just learn all of this really cool stuff. I highly re recommend anyone taking MMA or boxing class because you learn so much of how to protect yourself, how to defend yourself or defend other people. And I'm not saying this is a diss. I'm honestly not saying this is a diss because like I know so many big guys are just like, you know, super strong and they're such badasses in their own right. And I never will take that away from you. Like you get all the girls, my friend, you do what you want to do. But like I'm saying, if you're just thinking that's going to help you against someone who knows what to do and that person can gauge like okay I shouldn't get in close with this guy I couldn't, shouldn't try to grapple with this guy then that's gonna be like all right I, I can just see how this is gonna go like I can see how this is gonna go I've seen this many many times in like various classes where like they would have like a guy come in and he thinks like he's top shit and if he's grappling that's one thing but if it's just like a sparring thing then it's just like all right timing distance undercover like watching what they do and just like you know getting a groove of what they do and that's just all it goes into it like martial arts is just learning what you can do to take down bigger opponents or take down any opponent trying to attack you. Looking average but being strong is textbook hiding your power level and again it's always like a little cool thing when people underestimate you and then you show them your hidden athleticism so that's always like a nice little thing just like the
What the? Like in one of my favorite manga series, Don Baru and Akira Matera, which is finally getting an anime this July, I cannot wait for it. The girls are at the pool, and Akemi is able to piece together what type of sport or training someone does by just looking at their body. And that is a real thing. Like, I swear to God, that is a real thing. Like, me and my bros did this all the time back in high school and college. Like, not in a negative way. Like, we were never like, oh, like, that person looks, like, messed up or anything like that because we all hated bullies. But we looked and analyzed, like, various people's things and just be like, huh, like, that is pretty dope like we would see someone and their arms would be like super you know jacked but their chest is lacking and we'd be like i think they're a boxer because you know why would a boxer need to have like you know perfect like pectoralis major to like look you know aesthetics and stuff like that so we would go like oh they're a boxer or they're a fighter or we would see someone's quads are super defined but other leg muscles weren't as defined and so we'd be like oh they probably do a lot of cycling they probably do a lot of cycling and we would always go up and ask these people because we were curious and it was like so much fun to learn like different like ways of uh, various training affects your body but looks don't always tell you the type of fitness like someone does they don't always say like oh this person is incredibly in shape for instance in my life i've met a ton of great friends in various fitness fields i've got friends who are navy seals friends who are boxers friends who are mma fighters friends who you know are bodybuilders fitness models swimmers you know ballerinas i know a lot of people a lot a lot of people and one of my friends who is like incredibly ripped bodybuilder and don't worry mike it's not you this time is my friend called you know I won't put him on the blast like that, but we always roast him. And you know what? I'll just call him Sam. We'll call him Sam. All right, my friend Sam is this bodybuilder who is so incredibly in shape and ripped as hell, but he isn't the most healthy person. Like, he looks insanely aesthetic, and you, if you saw him, you'd be like, oh my god, that's like a superhero. But he can't run a mile to save his life. Like he can't, like he focuses on um, getting really aesthetic for his job and that's what I have nothing but respect for him, that's what he does. But like when you come off as like, oh I'm the ultimate fit specimen and you can't like do a simple thing like run a mile or do a certain amount of like, you know, health things that would like save your life in a situation or swim a lap, swim some laps or something like that. That's where I just sort of go like, all right, bro, you need to like work on that a bit. Because like, I remember it was like me, my friend Jeffrey, and uh, who else was with us? Uh, Caitlin, yeah, Caitlin. And uh, we were all going on a like three mile run. We all went on this night three mile run and Sam decided he wanted to come with us. And uh, he gassed out like at one mile and 0.5. And I was just like, Dude, you look like you're freaking Superman. Why can't you run this fat? And it's just like, oh, I just, I, I don't, I don't do cardio. I just don't do cardio. I just, I think that's a big thing of just like looking in shape versus actually being in shape are two vastly different things. And that's like what a lot of the world sees because aesthetics just sells. Aesthetics makes everything just sell better. So I just, that, that I don't know why I said that story, but I just wanted to bring up like just because you see someone who looks like they can take on the world doesn't necessarily mean they can. So always keep that in the back of your mind. Like don't be like one of those freezes the soldiers like, oh I'm reading their power level they're obviously this high like it's a cool thing just to like miniature and just see like okay how much power do they have how much can they go and run again to me personally I think you should live your life however you want to do if you're just someone who's interested in aesthetics and that's your job then by all means do it but I do think that everyone should just at least try to be a bit more into the health side of fitness rather than just the aesthetic side like if you can't do a pull up or run a mile or you know swim if you have a knee injury or something like that by all means you know take your time but like focus on doing stuff that could actually save your life you know pull up can help you you know get out of a situation or swimming can help you get out of a situation like there's so many people who just say let me know oh, i can't swim whatever so it's just like oh i'm never going to be in that situation but sometimes that situation whether you want it or not even if it's just so insanely asinine finds you and if you aren't prepared for it then that's your ass buddy so always keep that in mind always train like for like the stuff that you don't see coming stuff that you just don't expect you should be healthy and fit overall not just like look healthy and fit so all in all should yusuke yurameshi from yu yu Hakusho and monkey d luffy from one piece be more muscular from what they've shown not really would I like them to be more muscular? I have a personal bias that I do like those jacked aesthetic characters, but I personally think they are cool the way they are. Now, if they wanted to like, you know, come back and remake a new Yu Yu Hakusho series or like a continuation, I would like him to have a bit more beef on him as an adult. Same thing with Luffy. I do think that would be a bit cooler, but you know, right now for what they are, you know, uh, I think they look fine. Well, I hope you enjoyed my video for today. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what you thought. Be sure to hit that like button. Tell me if you loved it. Tell me if you hate it. And be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'm going to try to upload weekly.
weekly. Like last week I didn't upload because taxes is just, you know, always stressful this time of year, like getting all this stuff together. And uh, yeah, it's always just an insane thing to go through. But I just want to thank you all so much for your support. Thank you so much for like watching my stuff. It really motivates me to keep going with these. And I always have a blast doing this stuff. And if you want a training routine to get healthy, fit, and strong and actually look healthy, fit, and strong too, then be sure to check out my routines for All Might's Aim to Pass American Dream Plan in real life. I took All Might's training routine and I made a real life version of it. Also, I made an entire body weight program routine that you can do at home with absolutely no equipment. It'll help you build muscle, burn fat, or just get in shape whatever way you want to do. And if you have the problem with willpower, then I have a whole routine or a whole book, ebook called A Hero's Will where I help you develop that discipline where you want to train like your favorite heroes. And uh, that's a big thing and I'm just so happy that I'm finally getting to like get these and they're helping a lot of people out from what I'm seeing and I'm so grateful that I'm able to help out all these people and just reach them with this message. Also, for those staying, I will be at KameyaCon, what is it, April 12th or something like that? April 12th or 11th, it's one of those dates. And I will be there until Sunday, so come say hi. I am going to be hosting my own panel. I have two panels actually, I have one with Kwaman and on Nostalgia and Toonami DBZ, so all my WDBZ fans come to that panel, that'd be great. But I also have a panel on Sunday where I talk about Goku's training and how to train like Goku in real life, so that's gonna be a lot of fun. Be sure to come to that panel. Please come to it. Please come to it. Like I don't want. I need at least 10 or 15 people there who actually know me and like me because I don't want a bunch of random people staring at me like who is this bum or something like that and just laugh at every joke I make. Please. That would help me so much. You have no idea. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm going to be doing that Kamea Khan uh, in Texas. Uh, you can sign up or go to the site below. That would be great. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed that and I hope to see you there. Be sure to say hi. We'll snap a picture, you know, stuff like that. I just can't wait to eat Whataburger again. I miss Whataburger. <sighs> but remember, like I always say, Keep calm, booyah on, and don't forget, moments high. Hope you have a great day, and remember to work on your health and fitness, not just your aesthetics. All right, later days. Later.